Okay, so here's how you're going to set up your spreads for the yearbook project, whether you're doing end sheets, whether you're doing a section divider, whether you're doing a section layout. Um, this is how you're going to do that. So I already have a document open, so I'm going to go to File, New, Document, and we're going to put the number of pages at 2. We're going to keep the height and the width the same for our spread, so 8.5 by 11. We're just going to leave it at one column right now. If we need to add columns later, um, we will take care of that, and I'll show you how to do that. But we are going to change our margins to zero. In a yearbook design, um, you do kind of design all the way to the edges. And so we're going to change that to zero. And then we will click OK. Now, right now, we have just one page and then a second page, and we don't have a spread. And so we need to do a couple of things to make that a spread. So what we're going to do, right up here at the Pages palette. Now, if you don't have the Pages palette, you go to Window, and you check Pages, and it should pop right up. Over here, we're going to click on these four lines. And we're going to uncheck Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. So I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to drag this number one down here to number two until I get this little bracket. So there's that white bracket there. When I put my, that little hand on top of the second page, and then I'm going to let go. And now I have a spread. This is what my spread is going to look like. And so that's all you have to do to create your spread. So if you have a section divider, if you have end sheets, um, and even for the dedication and colophon, if you want to put the dedications on this page on the left side and the colophon on the right so it's on the right side, you can do that as well. So that's all you need to do to set up a two-page spread for your yearbook. Easy peasy.